Hi guys, I'm Gregory and welcome to my humble little bathroom. If you've been on my channel long enough, well, I've just had a few videos, but if you've seen a few of my videos, you've probably seen me do my skincare a lot. Well, I'm going to do that again because it's quarantine and we're supposed to be staying home and I hope you are too. So just put up with me and let's begin. So as you can see, my hair is still wet. I just came out of the shower. I just set up my camera here and I already washed my face with my soap, which is from Flawless. It's their anti-acne soap. But my little reminder, my little tip for you is don't do or use anything that does not work for your skin. Try to find something that always works for your skin. So right after I take a bath, I usually come here and I brush my teeth, which I need to do. So I'm not going to bring you along to that because some of you might be might find that icky. So I'm just going to cut the video here and start when I do my skincare. So I just finished brushing my teeth and now it's time for my toner. I'm going to use this Flawless Pimple Clear Astringent. Well, I guess it's not a toner, it's an astringent, but this really did help me with my skin. When I was back in grade 8, I used to have a lot of pimples, it was especially in this area on my cheek. But I did some facials, Flawless recommended this to me and it helped a lot. But again, use something that works for your skin. So after the astringent, I'm just usually, for every day, I just usually go for a sunscreen. But today, since I have like an acne mark from an acne that just recently popped, I'm going to use this uh, Flawless Whitening Cream. Skin White Therapy Cream, I mean. It's just um, a spot treatment. Or I use it as a spot treatment for the dark spots on my face. So I'm just going to apply that. After that, after the whitening cream, I'm just going to use something new today. I'm going to try out something new. I'm going to put on moisturizer. This is the Nivea Soft, um, refreshingly soft moisturizing cream. So again, I'm just going to apply that to my skin. After the moisturizer, I'm just going to use this uh, Flawless Skin Protect Gel. It helps protect my skin. It says it has uh, protects the skin from sun damage and best for oily skin and acne prone skin, which is my skin type. So again, try to use something that works for you. I cannot emphasize that a lot. You just don't use anything that doesn't work for you. If an influencer asks you to use it, to try it, if it doesn't work for you, don't continue using it. because. In the long term, it will damage your skin, so try to use something that does work for you. But in the meantime, I use this in the morning, and if I have time in the evening, I do my skincare, which you should do too, but sometimes I get lazy, so I just do it in the morning. But I use this every morning, every time, every after I do the entirety of my skincare. So this is um, the seventh to the last step, so I'm just going to apply this. Last up for my skincare guys, it's very easy, I just use this Lux Organics uh, face mist, it's skin mattifying mist with tea tree extra. It says it's perfect for all skin types. And that's it guys, that's my skincare. I'm just going to let the spray dry, the spritz dry, but we're not going to end there since today I am feeling a bit glam. Even though we're just staying at home, I'm going to show you a little makeup routine that I do when I feel a little bit special. It's not perfect. It's still a process in progress. So I'm just going to show you that to you guys. Some tips and tricks I learned along the way and hopefully you learn a little bit more. So hello guys. It's still me. It's still Greg. I just changed into something a little more comfortable into a little black robe and I'm just going to start my everyday quarantine makeup look or something like that. <laughs> So since I want to achieve that grungy wet hair look, I'm just going to grab this Gatsby Treatment Hair Cream and apply it to my wet hair because it's best applied when your hair is still wet because it gives you that all-natural type of wet look. So I'm just going to apply that to my hair and style it real quick. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? I just um, tousled up my hair and let's pray that it stays like that for the entirety of the day. So right now, I'm just going to start with my base. I 
usually just don't go for any primers because we're just at home it's just like everyday type of makeup look and yeah let's just begin with our base so i usually start with a bb cream but since today i ran out of that i usually go for a maybelline bb cream or a cc cream but keeping with a drugstore family i just go with this um super stay full coverage foundation i know it's really dirty it's been loved a lot so i'm just going to use this on my face i'm just usually I usually just focus it on the center parts of my face because that's usually where I need coverage, where I want it to stay matte because this is matte and the only places where I usually tend to be oily is my T-zone, this, this area here. So that's where I usually just focus this on. So I'm just going to apply that with a sponge, which I know is also dirty, but please don't judge me. So I'm just going to apply that real quick. Next up is concealer, just to keep it also in the drugstore family. I'm going to use this Instant Age Rewind um, concealer from Maybelline. I know this is loved by a lot, so I'm guessing you have this also with you at your home. So I'm just going to apply that to the spots where it needs it again. I think I'm just going to do some highlighting today because the foundation pretty much covered the things that I wanted to cover. And I still also just want my skin to look like skin. So just the places where it needs it. So before I set everything, I'm just going to do my eyebrows. Now you might be wondering why I'm doing my eyebrows before I set everything. Well, just like the rest of your face, you also need to set your eyebrows. Me personally, I have really greasy eyebrows. So when I take pictures with flashes, I usually end up having no eyebrows. So the powder, just like the rest of my face, the powder keeps it matte, so that's a really good trick to try, especially when you have oily eyebrows. So try it out for yourself at home. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows, the sparse area, which is like everywhere, and I'm just going to brush them out to give it a more fuller textured look. So that's it for my brows. I just today I just went for like a straight uh, Korean brow. I use the Detail Make It Pro Starter Pen. It has the as you've seen the brush at the end or like a spoolie and the pencil. The um, what do you call that? Detractable pencil. It's in the color ash gray. So this one's also pretty affordable. So since we're done with our base, I'm just going to set my face with the Nichido Final Powder in the color creamy glow. Um, I'm just going to set my face including my eyebrows and I'm just going to let that bake. I'm going to let it stay until we finish our eye look, eye, our eye makeup, just so that it catches the fallout. So guys, I know, I know, it does look a bit crusty but don't worry, after the storm comes a rainbow. I'm really, really sorry for that out of tune, terrible singing, but yeah, I'm also quite distracted by the fact that I just sang in front of the camera. But that aside, um, I'm just going to do my bronzer. I'm not going to do contour today because it's just natural. But you can do whatever you want. I just prefer bronzer over contour. So I'm just going to do that with my. I guess it's another detail makeover palette. I'm just going to check, wait for a while. No, I was wrong. It is the BTLA contour kit. Yeah, I know it's really dirty. It's been well loved. It's been well used. So I'm just going to use this. Um, I'm going to use the light bronzer on the hollows of my cheeks to my chin. So I'm just going to follow that natural line I have there, that natural contour I have there. That gives me that sucked in rice shaped, well, teardrop type of face shape and we're just going to try to fake that. I'm also going to apply some on my forehead because I don't have a forehead, I have a five head. It's quite large in proportion to the rest of my face. And I'm also just going to use that same shade on my nose.
So now that we're done sculpting our face, I'm just going to brush that off with the same um, foundation brush I used. Brushed with the same foundation brush I used earlier. Uh, this one, I'm just going to brush the powder off. Then I'm going to spritz it with the same mist that I used earlier, the Skin Mattifying Mist from Lux Organics, just to set the base and make the base, the powders, look like skin again. So I know, I know, I know, I did remove the powder under my eyes, but I forgot that I was going to set it. So I'm just going to reapply the powder on my eyes because it's time for our eye look. So the brown eyeliner I'm going to use is from FS Cosmetics. I don't know what color it is. It's just this brown one. I've had it for quite a bit. And I'm just going to line my eyes. It's a detractable pen. Retractable, I mean. I keep I've been saying detractable the entire time. I meant retractable. So I'm just going to use that on my eyes too, just to define my eyes a bit more. So for today's blush guys, I'm going to use this BT21 collab in collaboration with Vice Cosmetics. It's called the Hour Duo in the color Superstar. And I'm just going to use this blush right here on the on my cheeks. I don't really put it on the apple of my cheeks. I just um, put it like where my contour is. Just to give it more, a more defined type of look, a more structured type of look, because I already have a very um, round face. I don't want it to look even more rounder. I want my face to look more structured, so let's fake what we don't have. That's just for the face that doesn't apply to everything. And I'm just going to pretty much contour with a blush. Once we're done with everything, I'm just going to lightly brush off the powder that we placed under our eyes. So just to um, finish everything off. And there we go, just to finalize the powders and everything again, I'm just going to spritz another layer of this on my face. And I'm just going to dry that to the fan. So for my lips today, I want something that looks natural just to go with this overall vibe. So I'm just going to use this Vice Cosmetics Water Gel Lip and Cheek Tint in the color Pabergine. <laughs> it's like a very, well not very, it's like a red with a purple type of color, color, because I think that matches my skin pretty well, in my own opinion. And I'm just also going to use this Caroline Stain Gloss. It's a gloss. It's a gloss with a like pink tint to it, but not too overly powerful that it clashes with this. It's just like a clear pink that just finishes the entire look. And I like glossier lips than matte lips because it gives you that plumpier, juicier, youthful type of look. So I'm just going to apply this first in the middle portion of my lips just to it for it to look more like a bitten type of look, that like very Korean type of look. Then apply this on top. So that's it guys, that's pretty much the look. I'm just going to apply this um, Our Duo again from the Vice BT21 times Vice Cosmetics collaboration. I'm just going to use the highlighter that comes with it, this one. This is an optional step if you want to skip highlighter, but I, since I like the look of it, it makes me look dewy, it makes me look fresh, if that's the proper term. I'm just going to apply it on the high points of my face. Don't apply too much because it will make you look very oily if you take it out of proportion.
So there we have it guys. That's my final look. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do like and subscribe to this video if you want to keep updated. Click the notifications bell somewhere down here. And I hope to see you again on the next video. Bye guys!